Hi, lovies! I am coming to you guys with a tray number 16. I just changed them out just recently, but you guys will be able to get the gist of how the trays are placed and where my teeth will be positioned so that you can you can see where they're going basically in a nutshell. I hope you guys can see, get a clear view. There's still a significant open bite. I don't know the millimeters on how big it was. I don't think I ever asked that. I just knew it was big and I wanted it closed, you know? So, and it's amazing to me, like the little things that I wouldn't have ever noticed or that people with straight teeth don't notice is whenever you just slightly keep your mouth ajar, you can see most of your teeth. Well, before, I had Invisalign and my teeth are straightening up. When I kept my teeth slightly ajar, you would not be able to see any of this. Like any of, any of these up here at all. It's so weird because now I feel like I have buck teeth. <laughs> I don't know. It's so weird to look at whenever I'm looking at myself now. And it was almost like a night and day difference almost because I was so discouraged in the beginning because I was like, oh, I don't really see much of it of a change i wanted to see straight teeth right away you know <laughs> especially given that it only says i'm only 36 trays away from straight teeth but the change is coming for sure so i ha don't have anything significant to report but i see and notice my crowding on my bottom is straightening out it's not as crowded And I think no, that it has not been, I mean, it's improving. The tooth that it comes out, this right here, comes slightly farther out than this one. So, like, I feel like this one's higher up and then it just slows down, you know? So. But other than that, I don't have anything to major to report. I see the gaps closing. It's amazing how they're going to completely form and go back at the same time so that I can still chew and bite and it won't be misaligned if that's the right word to say but I also wanted to let you guys know I did take it upon myself to take to insert these trays a little bit earlier because I kind of got excited I guess because I have all my trays here you know I have them all here and I can go at the pace I should be going at the pace that the doctor told me but he was mentioning that there's this device that you put in your mouth. I, I think it's called v Vipro, Vepro, or something like that. Basically, what this device does is you put it in your mouth and it sends these sonar waves or vibrations in your mouth and your teeth to stimulate your gums and your teeth so that they move and maneuver smoothly, smoother, I guess. So I was like, hmm. And people that actually use this device have reported they would not have to change out their trays out so long they would not have to wait a week they would only need to wait maybe like three to four days and then their teeth are fine for the next tray so it's like whoa okay well let me see i changed out my last tray last sunday my teeth are feeling pretty fine every time i take out my trays i i feel okay you know so i was like hmm let me test out this theory without the V-Pro, right? Because I wanted to see, because I, I thought my teeth were okay, you know? I they felt okay. But let me tell you that I don't think that was the smartest decision because the top tray went in smoothly. Pretty good, actually. But the bottom one, I guess since I have so much crowding and the bottom ones are always gonna are always the hardest for me to take out. The top one I take out no problems. The bottom ones I take out with these utensils that that help with the pain 
instead of taking it out one by one because that is excruciating. Basically, when I put the bottom one in, my bottom tray, it hurt really bad. There was a really sharp pain. And right now it's subsiding and it's going away. And thankfully there was no damage. But I do not recommend taking or tr switching out your trays. And this is from experience. Switching out your trays and taking it upon yourself to change the trays faster than what the recommended prescription you know prescribed by your doctor so i'm just letting you guys know as a heads up that you should not do that okay i will see you guys on week number 17 Woo! <laughs>